Hey there YouTube, Ape Goomba back, and today, finally, after the request of so many, I'm going to show you um, how to make 8-bit sprites with uh, hammer beads slash perler beads. Now first and foremost, all you need to do is um, go to your local hobby store, such as Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. If you don't have any of those stores, um, call around to see what the closest hobby store is to you, or like I did, ask your wife, or girlfriend, because 9 times out of 10 they know a hobby store nearby. To just avoid a lot of time wasted, ask somebody where are their um, perler beads at I believe is the official name here so just ask for some perler beads and usually you'll find accessories there's these two boards there's a pack of boards that comes together in either orange or gray you know they're like 495 and the boards also come with I believe a little pack of of uh, iron paper but that comes later um, you may want to pick up a pack of the iron paper all the stuff should be in one section and that'll cost you a few bucks, three or four dollars. And uh, then you want to pick up some actual beads. You can pick up separated beads for about ten bucks, but there's not a lot of variety there. Uh, your best bang for your buck is getting a like a tub of like uh, like this of eleven thousand, I believe it is, and just kind of separate them as you go. Now it is a pain in the ass to separate them, but you know you're gonna get more bang for your buck, and you're gonna get a lot more just because uh, it's not separated you know it's convenience charge and then what you want to do is get on the internet and uh, google nintendo sprites or video game sprites um, there's no specific site i use just whatever you find find your favorite game i chose uh, super mario brothers 2 as the game after you find your uh... resource site and then uh... you go ahead oh, oh. I should plan this better. And then what you want to do, when you find the picture you want to copy off of, is right click on it, and you want to save image as, you name it, whatever you want to name it, hit save, and then choose your appropriate location, which I have mine set to pictures. It doesn't really matter as long as you save it. Go to uh, your documents where you saved it to. And what you want to do is go to your documents where you saved it to. I went to pictures and saved it. You want to find it. You want to right click on it and open with paint. Or you can have it set to automatically open with paint. The picture comes up with paint. And from here this is this is uh, this is what I do. Um, I'm cheap. If you don't have any money like me you want to hit grid lines on the picture and then you want to go to your magnifying glass, scroll to the part you actually want to uh, scroll to the part you actually want to copy. I want the mushroom, so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna enlarge once, enlarge twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, okay. So I enlarged it seven times and you want to get a good close up of the, the the view of the object now a lot of the time uh... there's other programs that that do this for you better but like i said they cost and i can't find a free one but it blows the picture up bigger, better and each pixel as you, and you see on the screen is going to represent one bead so when you start this out on your board that's going to be one black bead that's going to be two black beads three now this gets very tedious and it gets very easy to mess up so I recommend finding an easy object to start on because if you look at an object with many colors say like a 16-bit character you're gonna mess up it happens I'm really good and fast at this now but you're gonna mess up your eyes get crazy and the first time you sort through beads and look through beads you know it's it's gonna mess with your head so take your time um, I really wouldn't recommend going any further than this right now unless you think and you know you have the time to do this because each image could possibly take anywhere between 35 and 35 minutes to an hour and a half just depending on how intricate it is that's why I also recommend to start on the 8-bit sprites because a lot of them don't usually take more than a half an hour to make I uh, hope you're enjoying this so far and I'll see you in the next part to get ready for the actual setup 